start the right. Tobago Perspective webinar. Stephen, over to you. Thank you very, very much, Sarah. Very much appreciated. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, welcome to the beautiful island of Tobago. Um, I'm going to just switch on to my, my slideshow. And there we go. And first of all, I'd like to introduce Ken Vern Murray, the front office manager for Comfort Inn in and Suites, Tobago's newest property. Um, hello, Ken Vern. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Um, well, it's morning here. Yeah, I guess it's afternoon there. It is indeed. But uh, just so you are <laughs> fully aware, we have we have um, agents from around the world. I think we have an Great. American. Um, do we have any Canadians or any other Europeans, Sarah? Uh, we had a lady from Sweden. Uh, I'm, I've not checked everybody else that's in it. It was just on the chat that I was seeing everybody. All right, superb. All right. UK. Marlin's from Sweden. Hello. Yeah. Excellent. So, all over the world. <laughs> superb. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Um, so yes, um, Ken Vern, um, I, you will be telling everybody about your gorgeous, beautiful new hotel. Um, after I do the introduction to Tobago. So, so, um, okay. so welcome. Um, and for everyone else, um, the, the point of this presentation, um, it's slightly different to ones that you may have joined us in the past for Tobago. Um, the focus is on some of the other elements that Tobago has to offer, offer that we don't normally, that I don't normally have, have the time to, to, to go into a, a lot of depth in, including some of the festivals that we have, um, and also some of the other ways to get to Tobago. We generally focus very much on just coming from London, um, but there are other, uh, other ways. Um, and this is obviously of it for information for our continental guests, as well as our American and, and uh, Canadian guests as well. So um, if you've joined me in other presentations, you will know that I like to start off with giving you a vibe of Tobago, giving you an idea of how Tobago feels, and this is no different. I will start off with our gorgeous, beautiful uh, video. Um, it's just two and a half, three minutes. So please sit back, relax, enjoy, and get into the vibe of unspoilt, untouched, and undiscovered Tobago. It's only when I go abroad and I see what is out there and I come back and I measure against what is here, there is no comparison to beauty. In some writings of our history, it is said that Christopher Columbus called it Bella Fauna, meaning beautifully formed. Natural, beautiful, peaceful. <laughs> yes. I get emotional. That's why I'm here. <laughs> One of the fascinating things about nature, there is always something new, and especially in the tropics where there's such wide diversity, persons can experience and have the awe associated with some of the beaches we have, aquatic life we have, some of the fascinating birds we have, within a day, within a short period of time. You have the Caribbean Sea on one side, you have the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. On our doorstep, a fringe reef that wraps around the entire area. You have this huge amount of biodiversity and uh, you know liveliness of the entire water that surrounds the island. We also do bioluminescent nighttime tours, which are like uh, an escape into the deep, dark secrets of this you know, glowing phenomenon. It's like this almost cosmic effect. It's just something to be seen. I know everybody in the village. <laughs> and everybody know me. That is the nice thing about here. Tobago is used to the extended family. There was always a grandmother, aunt, uncle. There was always love. 
eat and we drink, we laugh and everything together. Tobago, in one word to me, beautiful. Beautiful place to live. It gives me great pleasure to be in Tobago and do what I do. The sunsets here are hardly bar none, some of the nicest I've seen. I would describe Tobago of one of the clean, serene, and the best place that anyone could come. Be easy, be happy, and have a good time. There is nothing to compare to. This little dot called Tobago exists, and come visit. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear, that always makes me feel wow. Um, Auntie Allison, um, we all love Auntie Allison. <laughs> I'm sure Ken Vern knows Auntie Allison as well. Blue Crab is just not too far away from where you are, where your location is. So, <laughs> yes, so yeah, she's she's wonderful, um, and always a wonderful experience in just going there to have lunch or have dinner. So Tobago. Um, just as this is the quick intro, we've done this before, you guys all should be fully aware of where we are. We're part of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Obviously, we only focus very much on the island of Tobago because that's the holiday destination that we talk about. Right at the very bottom of the crest, let me get this, let me get my laser pointer. Yes, it stands up more. Right at the very bottom of the crest of the Caribbean islands. In fact, um, there's only Venezuela below us. Um, so yes, um, we, there's some key bonuses for our location, which will become apparent um, very shortly. Now, getting to the island on the direct routes, we have British Airways that fly twice a week. Currently it's very Antigua, but there's some information that I have with regards to some of the flights moving into later this summer, um, that the service will be switching over to via St. Lucia. Um, but with both of these um, via options, it is just a touchdown, so your clients go do, do not disembark, they stay on the aircraft. They are classed as direct services and go straight through to Tobago as do their luggage. And the other alternative, um, British Airways offers a five week, uh, five times a week service from London Gatwick to Port of Spain. Now three of those services as of this summer will be going direct to Port of Spain with no stop off in Antigua, Stroke, St. Lucia. Um, so those now open up very little options for you or additional options for you um, as, as, this, as additional ways to get to Tobago. Um, let me highlight and let me focus on those. Different ways of getting to Tobago. Um, Caribbean Airlines, they operate 12 rotations a day and it's a 20 minute hop on flight. It's called a Skybridge. Um, service. It's like a bus service <laughs> locally to the to Tobagonians and Trinidadians. Um, so that's an easy, easy, easy connection. When you think about KLM, um, fly out of Amsterdam three times a week. They go via Barbados, but they go directly to Port of Spain, again, offering that, um, that option of going straight through, connecting with Caribbean Airlines. They actually have an interline that connects, connects through, so your luggage checks all the way through. Um, Virgin, Virgin, you have connections via JFK, and then coming down, I believe it's JetBlue. But then one thing we never discuss um, is convert. Sorry, do me a favor. Could you just put yourself on mute, please? Sorry, sorry, convert. Um, we never discuss our two center options: JFK, City Break, um, then down to Tobago, Barbados, a different island, a different style, different things happening there and then onwards to Tobago. So definitely an option to consider going forward, um, Virgin Atlantic, two center options. Um, United, United fly, um, I believe it's a daily service from Houston to Port of Spain. Um, if not looking as a, as a two center option, um, definitely a gateway opportunity for, for our American guests. Um, but yes, there is another option with Houston, Texas, Port of Spain, you now know that Caribbean Airlines depending on the time that you arrive into Port of Spain, you can connect straight through on a 20 minute hop flight onto Tobago. And then, fee and then finally, seasonal charters. I think it's a winter service charter from, Torrent uh, from Toronto, um, direct to Tobago. Again, another two center options, option there four or five nights in Toronto, and then a week down in Tobago, definitely an option. So uh, this, the whole point of this element is just to highlight there are other ways to get to Tobago and there are other options, options that we don't normally consider. We normally, normally I always talk about, oh, we've got the direct service in British Airways and, and that is it. There are other ways of getting there and other options to consider. All right. 
And then, of course, because you're coming into Tobago, the other news um, <laughs> is the new airport uh, facilities. Um, now, one thing I will actually add, the new the domestic terminal was opened in March uh, last year. So it was, it was well ahead of schedule. Um, and there have been some air, 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 air side um, developments which have already been completed, um, the retarmacking. I don't know if the extension of the runway is being done, but there are other uh, logistic elements um, on air side which have completed, been completed. We do are still waiting for the uh, new terminal. Um, there's going to be new duty-free shopping areas, a new VIP lounge, and the current um, ETA is um, the end of 2023. But exciting news for anybody going forward um, that we have our new, well, that we will have our new airport for visitors coming to Tobago. Now, what we normally focus on is very much the beaches, the water sports, the activities, the general activities, the beautiful activities that Tobago has to offer. Um, key questions would be when was the when would be the best time to travel to Tobago now I've said this before you guys can see quite clearly we only have the two seasons really the dry and the wet season the first half of the year is past this dry season and then the wet season is the summer months from May through to about November and obviously the caveat on wet season is we, it's not monsoons so like certain places around the world where it just rains solidly for three or four months it is short heavy showers just like the rest of the Caribbean now, remember, I pointed out our location being so far south um, in, along that crest of the Caribbean. Um, we do sit outside the hurricane belt. OK, we're very close to the equator. So the average temperature is about 30 degrees outside the hurricane belt. The last time the hurricanes, I've got to touch wood because I don't want to put kibosh on my beautiful island. Um, it was 1963. So we can quite confidently say we're, we're outside of the hurricane belt. There are tropical storms, of course, that covers the whole of the, you know, you can't control them. But as in major hurricanes, they generally come in whirling in a little bit further north um, and um, into, the, into the Caribbean. So yes, average temperature is 30, 30 degrees. So during the, the, the sort of second half of the year, yeah, it's a lot more humid. During the summer, it's a lot more humid. Um, still hot but humid and then in, in the winter months it's just a drier heat all right and that leads us on to some of the other activities that we don't normally talk about now I would go on to talk about the water sports and diving and that sort of thing but let's have a look at some of the other things which might be of interest or might encourage different visitors to Tobago one of the first things I want to talk about is the Tobago jazz experience now it's coming back um, next month I can't believe April is only a, few, it's only a week away or so. Um, it's coming back next month. It's the first one we've had since um, um, prior to, to, to COVID. Um, it is headlined by Boys to Men, but just look at the list of the previous um, headlines. Um, people like Earth, Wind and Fire, Gladys Knight, Diana Ross, Elton, John Grace. You know, it's not just a jazz festival. Um, it is very much an R&B um, there's soca artists, there's reggae artists, um, obviously R&B soul artists, um, and yes, it, I mean it's described, and they generally are described as jazz jazz experience or jazz festivals, but they are encompassing basically music festivals. And yes, I know I, I said I wasn't going to be talking about the beaches that Tobago has, but can you can you think of a better place to be sitting and enjoying um, a music? Um, an artist, some artists playing then on this gorgeous beach area here. Now, just so you are aware, um, I will show you a map um, later on in the presentation. There's a beautiful quiet area called Speyside, which is in the northeast of Tobago. Um, and for this year, we know there are events there. And there's events at Shaw Park, which is a, 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 which is a facility, um, an entertainment facility, very, very close to um, the Comfort in the Suites. That can then we'll talk, then we'll talk, talk, talk about it later on. So just to show you that um, um, the uh, performers and the performances happen all around today. It's not just one little location. Um, I know in the past there's been performances on Pigeon Point, and those guys who've seen some of my presentations before know a little bit about Tobago will know that's a really iconic spot in Tobago. Um, so yes, it's it's a wonderful. Um, experience. It's a little bit. You're a little bit late for this year because I imagine I would imagine the hotels are pretty busy around that sort of time because uh, it is only a matter of a, a few weeks away. Um, but um, you know, going forward, the Tobago Jazz Experience is a lovely, amazingly one lovely time um, to send people to come to Tobago. All right. 
the Tobago Heritage Festival. Now, again, I touch on this when I do my general presentation, but we don't, I don't generally have the time to talk about how colourful, or how vibrant, and how beautiful um, this um, particular festival is. Um, it speaks of the hi rich history and the culture that Tobago has to offer um, and includes in traditional dance, as you can see. Now, this, I believe, is at the Chaverne Centre, which, again, is right next door to where the Comfort Inn and Swing Suites is. Um, traditional dance, folk tales and old time wedding parades such as this, as well as traditional music and food. Um, well, you know, with everything I talk about, actually, there's, a, there's traditional food as well. <laughs> um, so, yes. The uh, old time wedding parade is is so different, so colourful. Um, actually, a good place to to have a look is if you Google um, old time. It's sometimes pronounced as is called Mariah Old Time um, Wedding Parade or Old Time uh, Parade in Tobago, and they they they, they use amazing colourful little dance. They call it the jig. Um, and again, you know, I I, I don't have rights. To, otherwise, I'd have a had that little video clip on here for you guys to see. It's very, very, it's lovely. It's very, very quaint. It's very beautiful. And also, actually, yes, it is um, a wedding parade. And actually, locals, um, I'm not sure if it's open for internationals, but I definitely know for locals, if they are getting married, if they are planning to get married, they can actually have a traditional wedding. They're, this old time wedding parade, um, parades are through um, the northwestern coast of Tobago. That's where Mariah is. Um, and they and it finishes at this um, beautiful classic church. And if they if you register, you can apply and actually have your wedding dressed in these beautiful costumes, wedding dress, gorgeous wedding dress, and it could be you know a proper official wedding. So again, just some beautiful, quaint, lovely sort of experiences. Very very colourful, very very vibrant. This is part of the um, the um, the wedding parade as well. This this colourful old <laughs> costumes here but very vibrant very very colorful and very very beautiful this is um this uh, festival runs from mid-july up until the beginning the very beginning of august and again obviously this is during the school holiday times this is a fantastic time um to uh, possibly send your guests to tobago so yes the old time wedding parade the tobago heritage festival And then, of course, I couldn't talk about festivals without mentioning carnival. Now, I'm sure you guys are all aware of the big main carnival, the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, which happened, which happened only a few weeks ago um, um, in February. Um, yes, that's classic. It's, it is regarded as perhaps the largest uh, carnival in the Caribbean region. But as of last year, just so that we, um, one of the things about coming to Tobago is, uh, as opposed to going to the, to the main event on Trinidad, is the Tobago event or the events on Tobago were always a lot more family friendly, were a lot more inclusive, a lot more easily accessible. Um, they, we don't have the, the, because obviously Trinidad is much larger, we didn't have the, the, the mega crowds that Trinidad has. So what Tobago have decided to do is, as of last year, 2022, we introduced our own carnival. So yes, we're part of the big main event in February, but we also have our own Tobago carnival, Tobago carnival. Um, it started, the inaugural event was last, last October. We will, it is continuing, it is an onward event now, a, a, non, a continuing event, sorry. And um, the, the new dates are in for the 27th through, through to the 29th of October this year. Again, as I've just pointed out, as colourful and as vibrant as the big main event in February, but a little bit more inclusive, a lot more family family friendly, um, and a lot more accessible for particularly for visitors who aren't hardcore carnival uh, goers and uh, parties. Um, all the events that would normally happen at a, a at, at carnival, the, the masses and the mud mass and um, the juve, the various party elements happen at uh, Bago Carnival as well. But as I said, a lot more inclusive, a lot more accessible for visitors. So yes, another great time to visit Tobago, the end of October for Bago Carnival. And I, again, I can't, I can't do festivals and carnivals. You guys, some of you who've seen my presentation before have seen this slide already, where this little clip of the Goat and Crab Race Festival. I, I always put this in, why? Because I know it puts a smile on everyone's face when they see it. Yes, it's quaint. Yes, it's very, very different. But yes, it is 
pure Tobagonian. Yes, it is pure Tobago. The Goat and Crab Race Festival, don't worry about the crabs. The crabs is a, is, a, is a small little secondary thing. They're thinking more for kids, um, sort of with, with little crabs. But the goat race is the real deal. As you see, these guys running next to the goats are the jockeys. Um, the jockeys have to cross at the same time as the goats. The jockeys have to be super fit because they have to maintain it. So it's both of them crossing the line at the same time are the winners. Believe it or not, these goats are treated like kings. They are, they are fed the best food. Um, they do have form. If you know anything about horse racing in the UK or around the world, the, they, these goats have form. There's betting on them exactly the same as if it's horse. So you know what? This is a serious, serious, serious thing. Now, yes, it says um, to Tuesday, first Tuesday after Easter, but I do believe, I don't know if Converne can update me or, or, or advise me, I do believe there were plans to have other festivals later on in the year as well so that it's not just an Easter an Easter thing it's something that happens um, you know at least two or three times throughout the year um, because you know they build up all this time for that Easter festival and then they have the whole rest of the year to to look after the goats and, and feed them and train them um, so yeah and another lovely colorful vibrant beautiful thing that's unique to Tobago um, and yes, for Easter, Easter is a, is, a, is a key time, but I do believe, and I, I'd, I'd need to follow up on, on and confirm, but I do believe there are other times of years of, of the year where you can enjoy um, this, uh, this amazing thing. By the way, uh, th there is a, a, a actual um, dedicated stadium. I think you could just about see it on the video, yeah, where the, the, the couple, these guys are sitting. There's actually a dedicated stadium down in Boku, a village in Boku. Um, which is just for this, uh, this just for goat racing. Um, so yeah, absolutely incredible, very different and uh, very, very uh, unique to Tobago. <sighs> okay, so those are just a few of the little snippets that Tobago has to offer, um, which are, you know, taking you a slight, taking you away from the beach and the, and the usual things that we talk about uh, when we're promoting and talking about Tobago. Now I want to talk to you about a couple of the new things, um, the new properties that uh, Tobago has to offer. Newly, first of all, um, uh, well, actually, first of all, I'll start with the Comfort Inn and Suites, which can go and we'll, we'll talk about shortly. Um, it's down near Scarborough. It's only about sort of 25 minutes away from sort of the main area uh, for nightlife and bars, which is a Crown Point area. It's only about, you know, it's a short taxi ride away. Um, You've also got Baku, which I've just mentioned over here, which is Sunday school, this is, which is our street party every Sunday. So a lovely little, a lovely location. It's close to Scarborough. We'll talk a lot more, uh, Converne will talk a little bit more about, about Scarborough and, and the surrounding areas and um, the beauty of his property. Also golf. If any of your clients love their golf, then we've got a couple of golf courses down again in the Southwest area. Um, and, um, you know, the, the, this property, the Comfort Industries, is a wonderful location, perfect location. Um, first of all, though, I want to talk to you about the Mantle Lodge, which is up in this area, which is Speyside. Now, Speyside is very, very, very quiet. It is very peaceful. It is very much more, as I like to describe it, village life. There's about two or three um, restaurants to choose from in this little village area here. Um, there's, as you can see, there are walking trails actually within walking distance of Mantle Lodge. Um, also down here, Roxborough area is about 15, 20 minute uh, drive down to, to here is where the Argyle Falls, which you saw, which you saw in the video. And there's also, it's also the Tobago Coco Estate, um, which is right next to the Argyle Falls, the entrance of the Argyle Falls. And by the way, actually, just as a little tidbit, um, the person who will win um, my gift box, my beautiful, um, I, I need to spice that up a little bit. It is more than just a little gift box. It's more than the box. There's so many bits and pieces that we include in there. But one of the key little things is a gorgeous bar of Tobago State chocolate, um, award-winning um, uh, uh, chocolate. So, yes, uh, somebody today will actually win a taste of Tobago. Thanks for that thumbs up. It's a good thing I don't have a, have a, have a fetish for chocolate chocolate because there wouldn't be any for you guys. It's, but loads of them in the office. So yeah, somebody's going to win that. So location Manta Lodge, close to the rainforest. Again, it's about half an hour to get to the entrance to the rainforest for people who want to do some walking treks and trails. There are deserted beaches. I said I wouldn't talk too much about the beaches, but there are some gorgeous beaches like Kings Bay, which is one of our blue flag uh, nominated beaches, just a short little hop away from there. So again, quieter area, scuba diving around the spice. I said 
Speyside and around this area, around this area, fantastic. Some of the best on the island is around this area here for scuba diving and also bird watching. Um, you've got uh, Little Tobago over here, which is a, a, a bird watcher's paradise, as well as the rainforest and all around the surrounding areas here. Absolutely bird watcher's paradise is Little Tobago. Um, so yeah, and a lovely, quiet, tranquil area, perfect for people who just want to get away from it all. Um, so yeah, that gives you, again, you know, we will talk about comfort in um, and suites when Converne, or when we pass over to Converne, but just to give you an insight and show you the Manta Lodge. Now, down here, you can see it is a beautiful colonial style, old colonial style building. It is only 24 rooms. So it is small. It is very boutique in its feel. Um, as I've put down here, great location for birders, divers, and people who love the authentic Caribbean. And that is it in reality. To show you how new it is, we still have pictures of of the delegation walking around the swimming pool. I don't have a single, I don't, I couldn't find a single swimming pool picture. Um, and that shows it was, it was only late February, I think it's 20 something of February, that it was officially opened or reopened um, after refurbishment and rebuild. And you can actually see from the image here, um, the contemporary styling of the rooms um, and how spacious the rooms are as well. So yes, uh, this is just a little bit of a taster, yes, you can just see there, it's, on the, it's actually on the beach, it's actually spotted on the beach. Um, but you know what, that's not its key selling point. Its key selling point is the surrounding area and the authenticity of that part of Tobago. All right, so yes, uh, hopefully that gives you guys um, a, a little bit of a taster of the other things to do and see, the other things that you can experience, some of the festivals, um, the vibe and the color that Tobago has. Um, and yes, of course, if you guys have any questions on the, on the bits and pieces that I have said already, please put it in the chat. But for now, um, I'm going to be quiet, <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. I've had my little spiel um, and I'm gonna pass over to Converne who will, um, Converne, we didn't have a practice run, but just tell me next and I will change the next slide for you. All right? Certainly, all right. All right, well, thank you guys very much and I will speak to you guys shortly. Let me, let me get rid of this. Uh, and then I will put myself on mute. Go ahead, Convan. All right. So, hi, everyone. Uh, so, well, the image hasn't changed as yet, Stephen. Okay, there you go. So, hi, everyone. I'm Kendall Murray, front office manager here at Comfort Inn and Suites Tobago. Comfort Inn and Suites is one of the new, is the newest hotel in Tobago. Uh, we are a 74-room hotel located in just on the outskirts of Scarborough. So it's the first city-like hotel in Tobago. We are within walking distance to our waterfront here in Scarborough, the Esplanade, cruise sport, and shopping area, and of course, some of the historical sites within the, the main town here. We also just two minutes walk, Stephen spoke earlier about the jazz festival that's coming up and heritage festivals and, and carnival as well. We are within like two minutes walking distance from our main cultural um, complex, which is the Shore Park Cultural Complex. The later on, I will give you, show you a view of how close it is to our hotel. So we are ideal um, for both the leisure and the corporate traveler. We're not within the main, uh, what we call the tourist area, like the beat where in Crown Point, close to the airport, but we, offer services such as a sh shuttle service that can take you to the beach daily and um, complimentary airport shuttle as well. Uh, of course, some of our in-house, I mean, yes, we know what all hotels have, combination of rooms and suites, but we also have an in-house spa. And one of our main features of the in-house spa, we have a float. So we you know flotation therapy, which is the first on the island. So we're quite proud of that. Um, so yes, Comforting, as you know, it's part of the Choice Hotel Group, so it's an international brand. But of course, in Tobago here, we have it included with the, the, the unique Tobago charm that you get. Of course, the service and the people um, reflect that unique, unspoiled character of Tobago. So that's what you can expect when you get here at Comfort Inn. Um, see, we can go to the next slide. So while Stephen changed to the next slide, yes, as I mentioned, you know, we have a combination of um, suites and standard rooms. So in, uh, up on the screen here is one of our standard room with two queen size beds. The maximum occupancy on this room is four. Um, of course, 
based on our layout and, and our room configuration, we are ideal for groups. So since we have opened our doors last year, August 2022, we have catered for a number of groups, cultural groups. We have had persons for re, um, school reunions, family reunions. We've had some wedding groups as well. And of course, corporate groups, because of course, our location. Um, number of um, local um, performers and entertainers have also stayed by us because we are located close to the cultural complex. And of course, in all the rooms, as I said, we, we are new. So all the rooms have all the modern and useful amenities you can find that you would require in a hotel room. We have the immune safe, microwave, and, tele uh, and a mini refrigerator in all our rooms. And of course, all, all throughout our hotel, you get complimentary Wi-Fi, and that's included in the rate. There's no extra cost for Wi-Fi. See if we can go to the next slide. And this is one of our junior suite. So as I mentioned, we have, we, we cater for groups as well and families. So if you have a family of up to six persons, this room can actually seat um, comfortably a host six persons in this, in this room because we have the two queen size bed and a pullout sofa that can sleep uh, actually an additional two persons. We go to the next. All right, so this is one of our main feature uh, at the hotel on an evening it comes alive because as you can see the nice sunset in the background and it's outdoors. So just imagine sitting out there on an evening and enjoying the Caribbean breeze, um, unwinding to some cocktails and some nice background music. Now, sometimes we have entertainment there as well. And we also feature that every Saturday night, we have a, a barbecue, like lime as we call it here, barbecue lime on the terrace. Uh, we feature some of our uh, a mixture of uh, the, the, the normal standard fish and chicken, and then we include some of the local items. And of course, for the month of Lent, right now we are doing some seafood offerings there as well. This space, we also host events here as well. So if you have like a wedding, uh, we have had some school reunions here as well. Professional groups have come here and gathered and have a reunion also. So this space is good for that as well. And Stephen mentioned that, you know, carnival time. So just near to the hotel is one of the carnival main parade routes. So we have last time where we had like a viewing party on the terrace. So people were able to from the terrace look at the bands in person and enjoy, of course, our sweet soccer music. You can go to the next slide, Stephen. And yes, this is our Sky Restaurant. As you can see, I mentioned about the view um, from our restaurant. It's a wonderful, peaceful, calming view, I, I would have to call it. Um, just imagine you sitting there having breakfast and enjoying that view. This is the view of our southwestern coast of Tobago, the Atlantic side of Tobago. And so, of course, our Sky Restaurant features uh, local cuisine, of course, but with that international flair. And as I mentioned, the view from our Atlantic side of the island. Let's see if we can go to the next slide. All right, and of course, not from all the rooms, you can't get to see the ocean from our rooms, but from the restaurant and definitely from our pool deck. Our pool deck offers that beautiful panoramic view of the southwestern coast of Tobago, and I will show you a live shot of it shortly, so you can see it is real, uh, infinity pool, and yes, and as I said, it's cruise port. So you see when cruise ships are coming in and leaving as well. And as I mentioned, cruise, you know, some when cruise ships come into port, some people decide they want to go above the island, but some people just want to just relax for the day. And since we have opened, we have hosted persons who just wanted to relax for the day. They come from the cruise and they just relax on our pool deck and enjoy what we have to offer. We've also been able to accommodate persons who, for some reason or another, haven't been able to return to the cruise ship because of medical reasons. Uh, uh, so they have, you know, stayed at our hotel because we are close to the main hospital. So we also host med um, persons who are visiting the island for medical purposes also. And right in that shot, there is a wider angle of our Sky restaurant. So yes, that's in a nutshell what the hotel looks like and some of the features and facilities we offer. Um, Stephen, should I go now and take them to the pool deck or? Right, so. Yes, now would be the time. All right, so you could follow me and I'll take you out to our pool deck.
Sarah, how do we get Ken Burns to be the full screen? Do I have to stop sharing? Yeah, stop sharing. All right, there we go. So let me just rotate the camera. All right, folks. So this here, as you can would see from the image of the show, this is our pool deck. And so over on the northeastern No, I think we've lost him. We've lost him, he's frozen. Oh no! <laughs> I had a... Oh, we had oh, on top oh. oh, it's back. There you go. And of course, on top of the hill is one of our main forts, Fort King George, one of our uh, treasured historical sites. And this here is the view from our pool deck, the southwestern coast of Tobago. As you can see, it's a really nice, sunny day here. And that main large building you're seeing nearby there is the Shore Park Cultural Complex. So Yeah, we've lost him again. <laughs> oh, that's such a shame. We had a practice go yesterday. It worked absolutely perfectly. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's the Shore Park. Um, I okay, should I to, let me pan back to the Shore Park Cultural Complex. This is right there. And I think you were saying, you're just, yes, we see it now. Could you just say what you were about to say? Because we just missed you. Oh, I think I mentioned that the Shore Park Cultural Complex is very close to the hotel. So as you can see, it's a really short walkway. But if it's too hot, I mean, our shuttle service can take you across there. Superb. Super right. Awesome. So this is the Southwest Circle. So any all the Wendy and Thailand ferries coming in or the cruise ships are coming in, it really is a wonderful view from here as we dock into Scarlet. Right. Thanks, everyone. This is the view from <laughs> I'm putting in sweets in Tobago. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. I should go back to sharing my screen. Yeah. All right. So if there are any questions for me, you let me know. And of course, if you need to contact the hotel, our main email address at the hotel it's comfort reservations at comfort and comfort suites tobago.com that the reservations at comfort suites tobago.com and we also have some very active social media pages on facebook and instagram should if i, if, you need if I to could contact just, us if i could just add you will actually there's there's actually some really nice imagery on their social media, on their Facebook, some really nice imagery. So if any of you guys do want to see some more of um, the property, then have a look on their social media. Um, uh, so it's a wonderful little resource there to have a look at. Um, um, so thank we've you. got a couple of questions for Super. Ken Ben. Shall we just do it now? So that yeah, yeah, Riley's absolutely. Spot on. Yes. Ken Ben, um, Olivia's asked, how can we book Comfort Inn and Suites? Okay, you can do, you can email us directly if you wish to do so. And as I said, at reservations at comfortsuitestobago.com, or you can go to choicehotels.com, put into, uh, just enter Tobago and search, and you can have direct access to us there. And of course, there are different rate options on choicehotels.com. We're also available on booking.com and Expedia as well. Super. And do you I deal with ask, any tour sorry, operators? I, Is yeah, there any tour operators? Add. I was about to add, we are in discussion with a number of tour operators to have cool. Comfort Suites, Comfort Inn and Suites, sorry, added to their portfolio. So that, that is an ongoing com a conversation since WTM last year. Correct. Yeah. And remember, because we only opened last year, so yeah. all the, uh, at this time, I'm not too sure. I don't think we're dealing with any specific tour operators at this time, but I know yeah. discussions have been held with several um, tour operators, even out of the 
European market as well. Super. Uh, Davos asked, what board basis um, are you? Repeat that. What board basis? Are you a bed I'm and sorry, breakfast? Can you yeah, bed are you a bed and breakfast, half board, all inclusive? Oh, no. So we are strictly bread and breakfast only right now. And of course, with our rooms, all our rate plans, we offer a full buffet breakfast. Not a continental or a la carte. It's a full buffet breakfast, and that's offered daily at our restaurant. Super. And do you have a car park? Yes, we do. Uh, the car park is just nearby. I, sorry, I didn't pan a little further to the end, but just on the very end of the pool there, the car park is there. And we also have space at the front of the hotel as well. Super. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I don't think there's any more questions so far. Okay. Well, um, um, Kimber, you're, you're going to still be with us now. Um, I just want to finish off the presentation. Um, it, it, there is only a couple of more slides for all our visiting agents. The first one right. is um, the, the, as a reminder, that we do have our online training program, um, which basically focuses on the selling or promoting the whole island. As a, We are working on um, perhaps a new program, but Tobago 101 Specialist is the current online training program. It's not difficult. Um, and it will focus and give you a little bit more of an give you a little bit more information on some of the things that we've spoken about today. But obviously, it will be encompassing the whole island and everything there is to do and see. And the other news is the Tobago Rewards system that we have, which is part of the My Booking Rewards, TobagoRewards.com. Um, actually, do you know what? Just before this presentation started, it just dawned on me. I'm not sure I've added. <laughs> and tweets to the Tobago Rewards. So anybody doing a booking in the next couple of days to come for in, they might not get any reward, but I will rectify that before the end of today. I will add this hotel to the Tobago Rewards. Um, basically, as a, as, a, as a reminder, we restarted the rewards program last November. Um, any seven night booking, minimum seven night booking will earn um, a 10 pound reward. Any uh, 49, 14 night booking will earn a 20 pound reward. Um, so please, please, please book and register your booking to Tobago. Um, finally, before we go, I think I, I don't know if um, Sarah's got some questions for me. Before we, we sort of conclude, I do want to show you one more video. Um, this is only, again, it's only a couple of minutes, but it kind of encompasses all there is to do and see in Tobago. Um, you had the nice introduction, the lovely gentle introduction, and now you have um, a more vigorous um, sort of upbeat ending to uh, Tobago. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the video, and then if there are any more questions, we can convert, convert and myself will answer any more questions, any remaining questions. Um, so yes, watch the video, and we'll be back in about two minutes. Please bear with me one second. The video, the sound was coming through, but the video wasn't seemingly coming through. I'll give it one more shot. Nope, it doesn't seem to want to be working. So unless we just want to sit there and listen to the music, which I don't think. I'll give it one last try. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. Hey.
Wunderbar, wunderbar, wunderbar. Excellent. Thank you guys very much. That's that was that. Um, I, I just think uh, we've got the quiz. Any more questions, and then we can go on to do yep. the quiz element. We've got some more questions, and that video was too good not to share. So I'm glad it worked. Um, <laughs> Patricia's asked, "Would you happen to have a contact person for the jazz concert?" For the jazz experience, um, yep. we have an online link that people can contact the organizers. So I can share the online link if, if, if you send me a, an email directly or, or my email address is stephen at amgltd, lima tango delta dot biz. Um, I should put it on here so people can see it, but yeah, just send me an email and I will send you a link to the organizers. I, I, I know it's the, um, the Tobago, something commission i don't know if convern can help you out with it. it's the to make it to be good to be a good jazz mission but i'll have to verify um what's the actual link to uh, yeah i could probably I can see if i can get the link for you as well i could forward it to you all right cool no problem yeah. Super. how is tobago holding up with um sargassum do they have any of the problems with the seaweed like other caribbean islands um, yes, it it is a, a seasonal thing, um, and it's and it's kind of weird because and it happens predominantly on the east coast, not predominantly only on, on the on the east coast properties. But it is kind of weird because some of the properties um, are well sheltered, and so even if it, it happens to be there, they don't they don't get any at all. Um, particularly up, you know, the, there's a you know up actually that cove, that beach area that we showed showed you from Manta Lodge. It probably would not happen there. They probably would not get any there because of the sheltering uh, that little cove has. Whereas down at uh, say Magdalena, which is kind of exposed on a bit of a peninsula, they tend they tended to get uh, um, get it. And it, you know it is what it is. You just have to clear it away. And they, I believe, they had a, a system of clearing it away every day. It is it is what it is. It happens. I do believe when I spoke to, I think that question came up on a fan trip I was on the end of last year, and the guys said. They didn't have any of it last year at all. So, it, do you know? I, I don't know whether it was a. It happened on other islands, um, but so it just goes to show it is a luck of the draw, or not, as the case may be. Um, but it doesn't happen literally across the whole island. It is only on the east coast, and then again, um, if the property is exposed, um, i.e., with not not in a sheltered cove, then it's more likely to to happen there. And um, which month is most likely to get it? Oh, I cannot remember. I cannot. Kimberly, do you know? Do you remember when it happens? Well, it's actually starting to show up on, on the coastline, on the Atlantic coastline um, now. So it, you tend to find it happens around this period. Um, mm -hmm. So let's just say between the March, April period, you may see uh, some sightings of it. Super. Thank you very much. Um, Marlene's asked, are there any new hotels in Crown Point area or any that are coming up? In the Crown, well, uh, look, there are plans for new properties, uh, which, you know, are in planning stage. And in fact, that's actually, there's actually new properties where, where ground has been broken. But until there's official news, I can't, there's nothing I can really divulge on new properties. Um, none of the plans that I know of are for properties down in the Crown Point area, um, is, what, is something I can say. But there are plans, you know, there's at least 
one, two, three new projects potentially to happen over the next couple of years. Um, but none of those three properties are down in the Crown Point area, as far as I know. Okay, super. Uh, what board basis is the Manta Lodge? Um, the Manta Lodge, I believe, is on a bed and breakfast basis. But as, is, as I said, it is so, so new. I haven't even got a fact sheet on the property yet. Um, I would imagine, though, it's a, it is on a bed and breakfast basis. But, you know, I, until I get a fact sheet or I have some more information, um, that's all I can say. <laughs> No problem. Um, Grassi has asked about agent rates. Um, Kenvin, I think this was um, aimed at you. Um, do you do you do any specific travel agent rates for the hotel? That is being worked on, and that can be arranged. So the travel agents just need to reach out to us, and we can work on something with them. Okay, super. Um, Stephen, the specialist program is it just for UK agents, or is it worldwide? It, um, it, agents around the world can register and log in. I, actually, we do have agents from around the world who, who log in and, and complete the training. Super. Last question. Sarah's asked, where do we get the images from, please? Uh, which images are we talking about? The images that you've been using, like these images that look amazing on the uh, slide you've got at the moment. Where would you go? Oh, them right. From? OK. Um, they, we do have a, a, an image library, an official image library. Um, all they need to do is uh, send me an email, ask me, and I will get them to, I'll send them the link to um, to uh, the image library. Super, thank you very much. That's the end so, of the questions. Um, so I will send a follow up with a copy of the recording to everybody. You'll have Kenvin and Stephen's email address. So any questions you've got further to what you've asked today, you can please um, drop them an email and they will help you out uh, with anything that you need. Um, Stephen, I believe you've got a question for us. Um, so just before we do that, if everybody can go to chat, um, every single person is entered into the prize draw. We do a spin to win, um, and I do this tomorrow, and I do the follow-up and everything. So you all get an entry. If you are the first person with the correct answer, you get 10 entries. Um, I put you into the spin to win, and then a name's pulled out and I'll let you all know tomorrow who that person is. But if you are the fastest finger first, you will get an advantage over everybody else. So Stephen, you have a question. So everybody go to chat, make sure you drop down says everyone and Stephen's going to fire away right now. Um, <laughs> my usual question is not something I spoke about, unfortunately. So you're putting me on the spot now to actually think of something that I spoke about. <laughs> that Okay, nice and easy, lemon squeezy. Um, who can tell me, um, who can tell me how many direct services there are on British Airways to Tobago? To Tobago. Not necessarily to Port of Spain, but to Tobago. Throughout the year, how many direct services are there? To Tobago, British Airways, London, Gatwick. To Tobago. Okay. So I have, I think it, is it five? I wish it was five. <laughs> I oh, okay. wish it was five. Not five. Uh, we've got, we've got varying answers. We've got two, three, five, six. Um, what's the correct answer? And then I'll pick the out the correct one. answer is two. It two. Is so Daryl. Daryl Lean. On. So he's got the extra, he's got the extra entry, hasn't he? Yes, the extra 10 entries. Super amazing. Well, a big thank you to right. everybody for joining us today. Thank you very much, Kenvin. It was great to see you and see the hotel. Um, we love seeing the rooftop terrace. It looked amazing. And for me, it looks a really good spot to be able to do the Twin Centre even in Tobago. So you could do like your split five and five nights or something to, yeah. to sort of mix it up a little bit. You've got the, especially Correct. over lot of the busy periods um and with the, one of the questions was as well about hiring hiring a car how would you get around um i know you you obviously speak a lot Stephen, about hiring a car and that's where the parking question came for kenvin so right, yeah right. It, it was super to see your hotel kenvin and we do appreciate you taking the time to come and speak to us um hopefully you will get a lot of uh, people that will be making your bookings and sending people your way um Stephen, sure. thank and you very also... much great conversation Sorry, sorry we also, connection was unstable. Oh, uh, sorry, I was about to say we also offer car rental services at the hotel. Oh, so okay. that 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 that's also an option that get our guests have. Superb. 
Super, thank you very much. Stephen, do you have anything else to add before we say bye-bye to everybody? Um, I, I'd just like to say thank you. I'm actually just going through the chat and I'm seeing hello from Houston, hello from Toronto, hello from Florida, Illinois. I, um, hello to all of you. Thank you all very, very much for joining. Um, all my, my, my British and European agents and friends, thank you guys for very much for joining. We will be doing a series, so I think it's a two months time, I can't remember is this area a couple of months yeah. we will have another another um, um tobago presentation with hopefully another two two guests from tobago um again talking about something slightly different than just coming to fly and, and, and lie on the beach we, we, you know we're going to try and mix it up and give you some some um, some more insight into um the beautiful unspoiled untouched and undiscovered island that is tobago so thank you very much um very much appreciate your time and look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much, guys. See you all soon. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh one Take more care. thing, one more thing, one more thing. Sorry. If one of the winners is from out of the States, sorry, is not in the UK, um, I will be doing a cash reward for you. So instead of sending you the gift box, you'll be, you'll be sent cash, a cash reward in your local funds. That makes sense. Is that correct, Sarah? That is correct, isn't yep. it? Super. Yep. That's Super. Perfect. All Thank right. you. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kenvin. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye.